There's something that's really cool, that's brand new, but is also part of something that's been around for a while. Now, the Map Tuner X tuner itself has been around for about six years, and that's effectively equipped every performance enthusiast to tune his own watercraft at home. And that's something that's amazingly awesome and has opened up the world to performance tuning. But what you're doing now is with the Map Tuner X, you're opening this up to a whole new world of small repair shops, to larger tuning shops, and to full-on dealerships, correct? That's correct. What we are introducing here is a dealer service application that essentially takes this map tuner tuning device and turns it into an incredible service and diagnostic tool that will work on all SeaDo, Yamaha, and Kawasaki watercraft. The way it works, Kevin, is if you own a map tuner X, you own this piece of hardware, and you own the cable to, to connect it to your SeaDo or your Yamaha or your Kawasaki, you can then activate the dealer service application, which is mated to the map tuner. It's not mated to the watercraft. You don't need a, a tuning license or anything like that. Okay. So these can be stock machines, and you then plug into the diagnostic port of okay. the SeaDo or the diagnostic port of the Yamaha or the, uh, or the Kawasaki, and you have full dealer level service uh, functionality. So basically what you're saying is with the Map Tuner X, I don't need a laptop with the Bud system or the YDIS, Yamaha tuning software, or even the Kawasaki software. It can be all done through the Map Tuner. That's correct. The dealer service application will basically do everything that those factory uh, service tools will do. Okay. So whether it's a modified unit or a completely bone stock ski, it works with the new application. That's correct. And out of all of the um, OEM service uh, tools, SeaDo mm -hmm. BRP has the most um, robust. broad, most robust or broad system. The Bud system does a lot of stuff. Okay. And basically, the Map Tuner uh, dealer application, dealer service application, mimics Buds. Okay. Does just about everything. Everything actually that Buds does, but quicker. It's lightning fast. Right. That was kind of the biggest hang-up was just how slow it was to even open up and, and right. get into Right. Because the Bud system communicates online through a cloud. And okay. It's, 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 it's takes not, a while. Takes a while. <laughs> this is lightning fast. Plugs right into your OEM diagnostic uh, plug. Okay. Well, this is actually the Map Tuner cord that plugs into your okay. dealer plug. And then you basically uh, go through the prompts. It's very, very easy and intuitive to use. It's like using an iPhone. I mean, it's, just, it's that simple. Now, previously with the Map Tuner X, if I was just a guy in my home garage, I could clear a code or I could even program a key, um, but there's a lot more functionality that is coming out with right. this. Right, well, let me clarify that. If you have a, a tuning license assigned right. to your machine, like if you're a performance guy and you buy a tuning license, you automatically have the ability to read and clear error codes. Right. That's on Yamaha, SeaDo, and Kawasaki. Okay. On uh, SeaDo, you then also have the option to buy what's called the home service application. That's right. Which is mated to your specific ski and your specific tuning license, and that gives you some more broad service uh, functionality like programming keys and doing some other um, service related tasks for your ski only. Okay. The difference with this dealer service application, is it's wide open. It will work on any SeaDo, any Yamaha, and any Kawasaki. You do not need to have a tuning license aside to it. Oh wow. And it does basically just about anything that the OEM diagnostic and service functions do. And there's no limit of number of watercraft. It can, it, for a service shop, he can do service all of his customers with it. That's correct. Okay. So after plugging in the Map Tuner X into the diagnostic port, it brings up the prompt right there. It says dealer service. So walk me through all the different functionalities. Of exactly. This. So you push the little icon that says dealer service, and it says gives you the prompt. Prompt. All right. Loading up. Machine recognizes that it's plugged in, and now you will see all of the different um, things that we can do. Okay. First item is fault, fault codes. Okay. Press that icon. It's going to check for codes. It's going to check. Bring it's, up a history of exactly. it. Exactly. It says no error codes found. Great. But right. it does give you the option to clear them or if to read the there, code. Exactly. You could either clear them or, or, or read them. There. Okay. Push the home button. Goes back to the home. Thank you, Cedar. <laughs> um, desk keys. All right. Click that one. 
Now that's if you want to reprogram or if you've lost your key, you want to get a new one, or if you want to set up a learning key, Correct. you can do it through there. Correct, you can, you can program new keys and those keys can be programmed as a normal key, a learning key which has reduced performance or a rental key which has even less. Yeah, it even has the prompts right there. Exactly. Okay. Go back to the home screen. We have reset throttle, which gives you the ability to reset the throttle body for, for oh, throttle for the recalibration. TPS. Okay. Correct. We're not going to do that right now. We'll no. go back to the home screen. Um, it's going to give us that every time. Every time, right. <laughs> reset service is pretty cool. Okay, so, so after an oil change, you can right. reset that. And in this screen, you'll see it says time since last maintenance, you know, date of last service, time since, uh, I'm sorry, total running hours. Oh, a lot great. A lot of information there. And you can reset that service when you do your oil change, if you're doing it at home or if you're a shop that's doing it. And then it's set to zero. Great. So you know where to move forward. Okay, there. that's incredibly helpful. Go back to home. We have reset history here. Reset history basically erases the ECU memory from the, the ECU has a log that remembers right. the last uh, short running time. Okay. Uh, it, it records different So for a parameters. refurbished unit, if someone had to do a full rebuild, if a shop had that kind of customer that needed a full rebuild, right. that would be a good... You could reset the history. Okay. Monitoring is a very, very powerful tool. Okay. So it's, it's loading up right now. Monitoring gives you a full Oh, um, fantastic. Yeah, a full access to all of your sensors, including temperature sensors, um, ignition timing, and you can scroll through these screens, and you have air intake temperatures, and you can see everything live, and you can actually uh, monitor this while you're running the watercraft. You could stick this map tuner up on a mount, and you could be running on the water and monitor any And give all, all that live data as you're, as you're operating. That's, right. And that's outstanding. And it's great for finding faulty sensors and other items like that. Okay. Next item is information. Information is basically the uh, serial number of the unit, the engine identification. Uh, again, it gives you total running hours and, and stuff like that. It's okay. just information pertaining to the actual vehicle you're working on. Activation. Okay. Activation is really cool. So from this screen, I can actually activate uh, fuel injectors, coils, and the IBR engine to okay. see if different things are functioning properly. So for instance, I'm gonna fire, right now it's on fuel injector, so I can hit that, apply. Do you hear a buzz? Oh yeah. So I actually fired uh, injector number one, uh, coil. Fire, uh, coil number two. And then IBR. And you can calibrate the you IBR. You can calibrate the IBR okay. with the new IBR motor, and listen, Oh yeah. You can actually hear the IBR motor going up and down. So this is a way to check all of your systems electronically. Yeah, that's outstanding. So that's you, the can, activation you can program. access the whole fuel the whole fuel system with the fuel pump, the injectors, and the ignition system. Right. It's, it's a fantastic diagnostic tool. And, and and the last service function is pair cluster. Okay. So when this is opened up, it basically allows you to replace your OEM cluster. So okay. if your cluster goes bad and you bring in a new OEM cluster, it has to be made into the factory ECU, and this functionality allows you okay, to do that. Okay, great. So basically, the Map Tuner dealer service application does everything that Buds does, but faster. That's great, that's fantastic. I think that's, you're effectively using an existing tool, giving it a whole new life, and you're equipping so many different people with all the tools necessary to do diagnostics, to perform repairs. I think it's outstanding. Right, and what this um, tool is ideal for is a PwC repair shop, Right. Um, a guy who has a, a garage full of watercraft who, who wants to do his own maintenance. Right. And we're actually having a lot of interest from yachts that are out at sea, and they have half a dozen watercraft on board, <laughs> right. and the ship's engineer needs to get in there and, and diagnose and program keys and do things okay. like that. Yeah. So yeah, basically it's a toolbox in an existing <laughs> Map Tuner X. Exactly. And what's so neat about it is the same dealer application works on SeaDo, Yamaha, and Kawasaki. So it does all those YDIS functions on the Yamaha. Let's go over to the Yamaha and take a look. Great, let's do it. Okay, so we're plugged into this Yamaha FX, right into the factory diagnostic port. We activate the dealer service application, and you just go through the prompts, just like the uh, C do. You can read and clear fault codes. Okay. 
no fall codes, so we'll get out of that. Scheme. Which is surprising, knowing Chris. So it's good, <laughs> right? right. This is Chris's scheme, <laughs> and then we can go right into the uh, next option, which is monitoring. And monitoring on the Yamaha is awesome because we can we can look right into all the factory sensors, okay, and make sure everything is. Um, registering properly. And again, we can use this while running and get live data as it's operating on the water. Correct, correct, so that's monitoring. And then we can go back and we can we can check RPM history, which okay. is really neat. We can uh, look at the percentage of time that this watercraft has run at different RPMs. That okay. information is logged in the ECU and we have access to read that here. That's great. Tool. Currently, you don't see an icon for activations but in the next six weeks, that will be available. We'll be able to activate the um, injectors, the coils, the okay. fuel pump, and everything that the, that the factory YDIS system does. That's great, so by the time this video has been published, that functionality will be there. Right. Awesome. You will have 100% of the YDIS, YDIS functions on this Naptuner dealer system. That's South great, so you're, you're able to check injector duty, you're able to check fuel pump, you're yeah. able to do all the things that that the factory software Great is diagnostic capable. tool. And the Kawasaki application is very similar to Yamaha. Okay. Um, Kawasaki and Yamaha functionality is very similar. Well, fantastic. So effectively, if I already have a MapTuner X and I want this application, I just reach out to Riva and you guys can activate that? That's correct. Um, you can contact us and we can actually turn the application on okay. on your device and then it's, again, it's, it's made it to your device. So any watercraft that you plug into, you have this ability. And is this like a one-time use thing or is it a renewable license? How does this work? There's an initial purchase price which activates the license on your map tuner for one year and then there's a, a low yearly um, license fee that you okay. have to pay to maintain service. Well, I already knew that the Map Tuner X was incredibly easy to use, but you just walked through the entire uh, dealer service application and it looks just as easy as tuning it beforehand. Exactly. I mean, this is actually as easy to use as a, as a smartphone. As right. IPhone. It's, it's very intuitive. The icons are there and it just leads you down the path. Right. You don't have to be a computer genius. You don't, you, this has nothing to do with a, with a, a desktop computer. It's <laughs> no. all contained right here. So it's a very easy service tool, and we have complete technical support available. Great. And we have a racing, we have people on the phones and the, uh, and the emails if you need it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. That's fantastic. And all of this is available at RevaRacing.com. If, if you need to buy the MapTuner X, you haven't gotten one already, you can definitely pick one up. And if you already have one, all you have to do is reach out, and that will be activated for you. Absolutely. Well, Dave, thanks again for walking us through this. This is a really exciting new tool that equips so many different people in the industry. I think this is really revolutionary. We're going to have an article on this by the time you're seeing this video. So definitely go to the description. You'll see the link below and you can get more information on this new application in the MapTuner X. And if you want more information, definitely go to RevaRacing.com where everything will be there for you. Exactly, RevaRacing.com or any one of our certified Reva Racing dealers will uh, be able to get you hooked up with this dealer service application. Fantastic. Again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and help get the word out. This is some pretty exciting stuff. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Watercraft Journal. That's www.watercraftjournal.com, where new videos are published every single day, Sunday through Friday, as well as new articles every day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription-free to you.